Yo, 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 how's it going, everybody? It's Kozu coming at you with an episode of, uh, well, a couple episodes of Final Fantasy XIV. We're we'll gonna be going through a quick let's play, well, a quick playthrough of the content that I missed. So basically, it's going to be a back to the basics catch up run of 5.2 before 5.3 comes out and it's going to be going live the monday before reset and then some of it will be going live that tuesday as well just so you know we can catch up and i can do stuff probably on twitch or something i don't know i haven't made up my my mind up yet but we'll see how it goes because i mean what else do we got to do We'll be trying to catch up, as I said. Um, you know, there's not really much else to, to say about that. We'll be trying to catch up and do what we can. Um, as you probably remember, I took a break from 14 and started playing WoW for a bit. So, you know, that's that. But when I did come back, I started doing reminders of events that were live at the time so you know I'm sure you've seen a couple of those videos and then there's gonna be this you know uh so i'm probably gonna end up cranking out 14 content as much as i can as best as i can you know As you know, I'm still kind of new to all this shit with YouTube and everything, like the community and all that stuff. So, you know, we'll see how it goes. But for those of you guys who are new to the channel and are watching this, I have been playing since Heaven's Warden. Like mid heavens warden so there's that um i'm not like an AR, ARR baby or anything like that or a 1.0 baby i came in mid expansion an expansion later um yeah that's basically it about me um What else can I say? I don't know, cause I'm I'm doing this this series a little different than I would like the series on my channel. You know, cause of, out of all the games that I've played so far, besides Final Fantasy VII Remake, this is like one of the games that means the most to me. So I don't know. I kind of want to do it justice. So we'll see how it goes. Anyway, um, the series idea is, as I said, Kuzu is going to be running through the 5.2 content that I missed out on when I was playing WoW. And we're going to try to get it out before 5.3 comes out. So most of the, most of the content is going to be out that Monday when the servers are down. And then some of it will be out on that, uh, on that Tuesday when the patch comes out. Um, what else can I say? Um, you know, just bear with me. It's the first episode. Like, I, I didn't script it out or anything. I didn't think I would be doing this, like, in a video or anything. But, uh... Yeah, then we're going to be playing 5.3 either on Twitch or on Facebook Live, uh, Facebook Gaming, or here on YouTube. Or I might do all three. You know, since Streamlabs OBS lets you multi stream to all three places. And then after 5.3, when everything starts coming to a 
grinding halt, we will be starting the story over in New Game Plus, working our way up and reliving the story. So if you want to be a part of that or you want to help out, you know, just leave it in the comments down below. Anyway, I know this has been a long, a long intro and stuff like that. Yeah, may extend a little bit more, but if you want to skip ahead and in the description, there will be a timestamp to where it actually starts. Sorry, I, I've had a couple of beers and some soda. I'm yawning like crazy. Anyway, uh, if you want to help out your boy Kuzu, merch store down below. Streamlabs Prime discount promo code down below. Second channel also down below. Twitch, Twitter, down below. Basically it. All right, let's jump into the content because I want to get this done before 5.3 so I can actually start playing. So my, F, uh, my FC leader uh, doesn't yell at me anymore for not being able to do expert dungeons with, it, with him. Damn it. Freaking pod, man. I still don't have that thing. Anyway, here's Maxima. Maxima! Alright. The Raban awaits us in the Royal Ballast. If only I would follow you. Let's go. Hey, look, it's Kryl. Uh, Raubon, it's been a bit, boy. And of course, our buddy Gaius. They're here, Commander. And I, for one, am grateful that they are. Told you've been busy since our paths last crossed at the Gimlet Dark. Hell yeah, Gimlet Dark was a was a nice dungeon, man. I can love that dungeon. Not that I understand half of it. When the science spoke of other worlds, I'd struggle to describe what I pictured. Mayhap things would seem clearer were I to hear the tale from your own lips. But I'm afraid the situation will not afford us that luxury. I trust you two require no introduction. Of course not. Our buddy Gaius, he goes Super Saiyan sometimes. We meet again, hero of Eorzea. Yes, we do. We meet again. Although, I miss the voice with the mask. Must we repeat this ridiculous display? I pose no threat to you. Though what I come to warn you of very well might. Had he meant to do us harm, I hazard he would have kept to the shadows and brought more than two companions. Yeah. So just think it out. Think it out, girl. We need not pretend to be the best of friends, but I hope we can put aside our differences for the present. As you are doubtless aware, Sir Estinian and I cooperated to rid the world of Black Rose in your absence. I remember that shit. Our journey together took us as far as the Imperial Palace, where we witnessed Emperor Varus meet his death at Xenos' hand. I'm not gonna lie. So the Estinian portion of going through and just wrecking people was amazing was amazing as you will as you will find out when we go through this like i have two mains right now my gunbreaker and my dragoon my dragoon has been my main since i started playing 
But playing as a Stidian <laughs> brings back so many memories. And of course, he is Zidos again. Being the sole witnesses to this crime, and in no position to defend our innocence, we were then forced to flee, each pursuing his own avenue of escape. When we were later reunited, Estinian claimed to have encountered an unfamiliar kind of machina during his flight, but to me his description seemed anything but, and upon further investigation I found that I was right. Me. The Empire is developing a new Ultima weapon. What, that elegant monstrosity, created to vanquish primals? with which you yourself once thought to conquer Eorzea. The same. In my foolishness, I sought to harness its power and became the Asian's pawn in so doing. But you know as well as I how that tale ended. Yeah, we kicked your ass. I relive it every day going through freaking MSQ roulette. The weapon itself, excavated from beneath this very city, was destroyed ere we could fully unravel its secrets. And that should have been the end of it. But unlikely as it sounds, the Empire's efforts to recreate it have somehow borne fruit. Primarily through secret research conducted by the Seventh Imperial Legion, it would seem. That damn Seventh Imperial Legion. Wait, the Seventh was all but annihilated at Cartano, along with its legatus. Indeed, few survived. The Seventh, as it is now, has little in common with the Legion led by Vandanas and its leadership has changed hands several times since. Precisely how this project has continued despite such turmoil, and under whose auspices, remains a mystery. Mm. What we do know, however, is that a number of prototypes have been produced, and that one of them is on its way to Eorzea. We attempted to stop it, but it was all we could do to slow its progress. So we resolved instead to bring you warning. And right glad are we that you did. Though it soundly dashed our hopes that tensions might ease at last. As it is, we've begun to strengthen our presence in the Gimlet Dark, and are assembling a force to meet the coming threat. A force with you in its vanguard, I hope. Of course. I mean, why the hell wouldn't I? Before you say anything, I know full well you have pressing concerns of your own. Your comrades remain in peril, and I would not ask you to forsake them. But the fact remains that you and you alone have faced the Ultima weapon and emerged victorious. We need you. And so, when the time comes, if your comrades can spare you, I bid you lend us your strength. I've assigned an officer to await your word. The Asian's downfall was to be the work of my remaining days. But it was my hand that kindled these flames, and I cannot allow them to spread any further. Alright, as you can see at the moment, it's dark here. It's nighttime, alright? I'm not doing this until daytime. But keep that in mind. Unless I'm forced to fight Ruby, like right off the bat, it's not happening. The dungeon and Ruby can wait until tomorrow. Today, we're just gonna buzz on through. I will do what I must to see this mistake consigned to history once and for all, even if it means begging your aid. The fates will enjoy the irony, even as I endure the ignorance. Dude, stop looking at him like that, girl.
I too shall make for the border and offer my skills, meager though they seem in such company. Mayhap we shall meet there anon. Though we can ill afford to ignore the coming of a new Ultima weapon, our friend's plight grows ever more precarious, and none save you can join them in the first. I only hope you are not forced to make a choice. Yeah, hopefully we don't have to. It would suck. As much as I love freaking Bankrid and Rain and Alize and Estola. I'll fight Ruby first. <laughs> We can ill afford to ignore the threat of a new ultimate weapon. But with each passing day, the plight of the Scions grows even more perilous. If you, can if you cannot stay for a debriefing on the ultimate weapon, I will not stop you. I only ask that you confer with me before returning to the first. That's the quest for Ruby. Ah, Kuzu, glad you can make it. As you may have heard, Rauban has given orders to embark from Alliance headquarters to hold back the advance of the Empire's latest menace. Now that the soldiers stationed there are too chafed, chuffed, about being on the front lines against these new weapons. If they are designed to slay primals, they'd make short work of us mere mortals as well. Mind you, it's Gaius and his fellow and his followers who've led the charge so far. By all accounts, they've been they've been giving as good as they get. Unfortunately, their shorties have met with little success. I dare say they'd benefit greatly from your presence on the battlefield. If you're ready, my colleagues over at Orta, Orta Praetoria will show you the way. Where the hell is that? I don't remember where the hell these things are. You know how long it's been since I've hung out? Oh, over here? Okay. You know how long it's been since I've hung out here? Oh, you're gonna give me food? And money. Taking the money. I take it you're ready to return to the first. Then I would ask that you appraise the others of recent events here in the source, namely Xenos's return and the development of a new ultimate weapon. As for their bodies, you may assure them Master Matoya and I will continue doing what we can to keep their corporal aether stable. Safe travels, Kuzu. I hope to see you in the other Scion soon. Hi, Krill. My ninja looks a lot like you. Spent a lot of time trying to make it look like you. Look at that. It's just a more grown up version of you. You gave up majory and became a ninja. Alright, where am I going? Not over there. The way home! Oh, oh my goodness. All right, Crystal Tower it is. Let's go. Bum bum.
It's been a bit since I've come here. I usually come up here to like get my daily bounties for like hunts and shit. I've been forgetting to do that recently. Also, been working on jobs and shit. Look at this. Arden Dancer, White Mage, Black Mage, Red Mage. Only things left before I can get my Amra. Do you have business with the Crystal Exarch? Just say the word and I would be happy to escort you to the ocular. Why can't I just go in by myself, dude? What's up, Graha? Been a while, buddy. You've come at the most opportune time, my friend. I've made something of a breakthrough in my research on the soul and a meaning to return the scions home i trust you too have been making good use of your time ill tidings from the source you say that i will summon the others that we might all be appraised of the situation let's go give me the cutscene i've been waiting for just talk to me, brah. Wow. I love this man. Don't kill him. I love her too. Now that we are all here, what news from the source? His voice, man. Ultima weapon. We must count ourselves lucky that Gaius has pledged his assistance. While this is indeed a worrying development, I think the state of the Empire as a whole greater grounds for concern. With the Emperor slain and Xenos returned, it is impossible to predict how matters will unfold in Garlemald. The Ultima Weapon may be but the first of many unpleasant surprises. The situation beareth closer observation. Of that there is no doubt. And doth compound our need to return unto the Source. Then let us address that issue. Our long search for a means to see you safely home may well be nearing its conclusion. Thanks in large part to Urianger and Beklug's invaluable insight, we have succeeded in fashioning a vessel for the journey. Nice. We set out to create a crystalline container retaining the more useful properties of white morosite, but without its regrettable limitations. And after a good deal of trial and error, we made one. That's a good thing we went to go get your ass last time, huh? An arc for soul and mind both that will allow your incorporeal self in its entirety to be ferried between worlds. A spirit vessel, if you will. However. However. What? However? Though the vessel is possessed of the requisite qualities to hold mind and memory, it wanteth yet for a means to receive of them. For that, we must needs imbue it with the Exarch's innate gift. A gift that lives on only through the blood of the Allegan Emperors, which certainly does not flow within Aurasite or any other crystal. 
Just so, milady. The blood serveth as a conduit of sorts. In its absence, memory cannot pass from mind unto mind, nor from flesh unto crystal. Okay. That being the case, we must either alter the process of inheritance so as to require no such thing, or determine a means by which my blood may permeate the vessel. I am hopeful that the records found within this tower will yield the knowledge we require to pursue one or the other of these avenues. As well you should be. The Allegan's body of etherological research is extraordinary. I can scarce believe it the work of ages past. But its underlying principles are not so very different from those of my own field of study. Given time, we will find the answers we seek. I know that you can ill afford to wait, and it pains me that I must ask you to do so. I can only reaffirm my promise to you that a solution will be found. Whatever it takes, I will see you safely home. I know you will, bud. I know you will. I just don't want to lose you. My apologies. Ah, oh, the dancer do doesn't know how to use dance partner. Awesome. No, I had hoped to speak with the warrior of darkness. But there What's is wrong, no need girl? to cut short your meeting on my account. I will be waiting outside. Your voice is amazing. Your voice is amazing. Why not speak in here? She knows I don't mind. Unless she didn't want to. Perhaps I might accompany you. Though I am woefully ill-qualified to assist in the Exarch's research, I may yet be of some use to Lena. Alpha, no. My boy. Let's go. I must confess, while I enjoy my fair share of scholarly research, it will be good to step outside for a spot of fresh air. Now then, shall we go and speak with Lana? Baby girl with the ass voice who sucks that playing dancer. We have little time. That will be brief. A sin eater has been sodded in Lakeland, and I asked for your assistance in slaying it. Okay, a sin eater had heard a few yet remain after the knight had returned, but perhaps we should uh, call the others. This will not be necessary. There's only a single sin eater. A simple task for our guard, I should think. That said, I believe fighting alongside the Warrior of Darkness would be a valuable experience for them. Peace be led to complacency. Peace can lead to com complacency. That's a Vegeta saying right there for all you Dragon Ball fans. And they gain nothing from an easy victory, but you do not underestimate your foe. However harmless they may seem, my men will do well to learn from your example. Let's 
to be about it then. Excellent. Then let us make for Fort Job. The Fort of Steve Jobs. Gilgamesh. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing, thing. I'm not gonna lie. I recently got this Griffin because I didn't care about doing beast traps for like the longest time. I'm happy that I got it because I had the pre-order one. This thing is way better. If you would wait here a moment, I will gather the others. All right, let's go. Guess Gilgamesh is doing the same, uh, same quest. You may not remember, but you have met these soldiers once before, though only in passing. Long have they awaited the opportunity to fight at your side. I was at death's door that day after the sin eaters attacked. If you and yours hadn't come along, I'd have likely stepped through and I would have, wouldn't have, wouldn't have been alone. Your courage and selflessness is something we all aspire to. Too formal. I too was there that terrible day. My friend was transformed into a senator before my very eyes, and I had no choice but to cut her down. The thought of returning to the field, of pulling a blade again, it filled me with dread. But that is no way to honor her and her of my comrades and so i have returned i swear i will not let you or anyone else down from this day forward i like that guy a pleasure to miss meet you miss truly it seems like only yesterday i watched as you took flight of strident amuro to go and save the oracle Strange to think the Imorian soldiers we once locked blades with are now on our side. But we will do our utmost to keep the peace here in Lakeland. And soon you'll have dwarves. We seem to be missing one. There we go. My apologies, Captain Lina. An elderly gentleman asked that I escort him to the clear mill. It took longer than I anticipated. I'll not begrudge your desire to help those in need, but a soldier must be punctual, especially when we play host to an honored guest. It won't happen again. The name's Valor. I'm sure you don't remember, but we met once before in the infirmary. I asked you to deliver a message to the Exarch and the Warrior of Darkness. Little did I know, I was already talking to her. Don't give up, don't give in. I keep those words close to my heart and the boundless beautiful sky above serve as a reminder of their importance.
my friend got to me got to see the knight return shortly before he passed he left this world with a smile satisfied with a glimpse of what was to come but there are countless others who weren't so fortunate They gave their lives for the promise of a future they'll never know. And so it falls to us to do everything we can to fulfill that promise. No matter what happens, we won't give up. We won't give in. Your heroism has inspired all of our guardsmen in much the same manner. Our scouts at the northern staging point have not had the pleasure of meeting you in person. Let us not keep them waiting. You have picked a slower mount. I mean, that's slightly better, but geez. Was that the thunder? Y'all put it down already? That's the thing from Mount Bug. I hate that thing. Did you slay this eater? Your orders were to await the main force before engaging. Would you not listen to your captain? No, captain. It wasn't us, I swear it. A man came out of nowhere and cut it down before we knew what was happening. By himself? Certainly it is no light warden, but nevertheless. It's true. Felled it with a single swing of his axe, he did. I've never seen anything like it. It's fucking a lot of us, isn't it? Prancing around as Ardbert. So I says to him, Who are you, the warrior of bleeding darkness? And he says, No, I'm a warrior of light. And that was it. Buggered off as quick as he came. A warrior of light? Why would someone go around calling himself that, though? It was those bastards who caused the flood. I mean, if you were going to pretend to be anyone, it'd be her, the warrior of darkness. Hey? Oh, oh, I didn't know. It's an honor. Since the Eater is no longer a threat, our work here is done. Return to your posts. I had hoped to fight at your side today. But I'll continue to follow your example. And may we meet again. Damn straight, bud. I apologize for the wasted journey. It seems I overestimated the threat. As for this warrior of light, I do not know who would be brazen enough to take that mantle for his own. Whatever it may once have meant, it is forever tainted by the association with the Flood. The Exarch told me the truth of Ardbert and his comrades' deeds, and I am aware they played some part in your own triumph. But to most, they are synonymous with the calamity that befell this world. Still, 
If this man is minded to destroy Sin Eaters, I may forgive him his unfortunate choice of alias. But that is neither here nor there. I thank you for accompanying me. This is the last time we're talking to you, isn't it? I want to hear some more of that, that concluded, nice and sultry the voice. There is a proposal I should like to make. Forgive me. There is one more thing. A personal concern of mine. I had hoped you might have a moment to speak privately. God, are you confessing your love to me? I'll do it. Take your time. I shall go on ahead. Come on, girl, speak your mind. What you want? <laughs> I will not mince words. This matter concerns the Exarch. You don't like him now that he's uh, taking his head off. Though his countenance belies his age, his demeanor never has. He has seen more than any man should and grown ever more weary with time. But I see I give the wrong impression. While it is true he attempted to open a letter with the salmon filet the other evening, we are not here because I suspect his mind is deteriorating. Nor do I believe him to be so maddeningly unconcerned by the prospect of his own death as he once was. Indeed, the opposite is true. It is for this reason that I seek your advice. Do you like him? Do you want to be his boo? Since he returned from the Tempest, the Exarch is not as he was. You want to be his boo, huh? He seems a different man, a younger man. I know not the details of his research, but when I saw him at work recently, there was a glint in his eye that I had never seen before. He looked happy. It was as if he had peered into the future and for the first time found joy there. Though it gladdens me to see him thus, I wonder if I should not keep my distance. I fear that my presence will only anchor him to the past, remind him of all the pain that came before. <laughs> He's lost without you, you know. And he misses you already. Or anchors keep us where we have chosen to be. I'm going with the first one. Is that so? Yeah. Then perhaps we might remain as we were. As we have always been. Oh shit, were y'all booze? Oh, y'all were booze. Fucking growls getting it in, son. What a relief. In that case, I will have to speak with him about the amount of time he is spending at work. This research is important, I know, but if he refuses to consider his own health, I will have to consider it for him. Sure, sure. Sure, sure. Whatever you say. Rahal's getting it in. I will not keep you. You and your comrades have much to discuss. I will see the others back to their posts. Can I get a faster mount this time, Kuzu? Come on. Thank you.
He would think this thing for how much it, wa it was worth with like in-game currency would have its own music like it's a super detailed mount like you fight him in a dungeon why doesn't he have his own music I'm not complaining i'm just saying like it would be nice if he if it had his own music Everybody see me flies in on top of that thing. Sun Eater, kill it! Alright. Facing the truth. Speak with Alpha. No. Where's my boy at? In the freaking thing. We're already at the Crystarium. Why would I teleport there and lose 50 guilt? It's a waste. Don't do it. You just come to the crystal and go there and then freaking Fuck, I forgot what button it was How's that okay? So close. I almost picked it Let's go. Take me in, good sir. Time is it? Holy shit, it's 4 a.m. The others were quite shocked to hear of what we found in Lakeland. But now that you were here, there is a proposal I should like to make. Wouldn't that be would like to make? That's fine, I don't care. They speak English English. Not American English. I have been spending a great deal of time in the cabinet of curiosity and of late I have noted more and more people pursuing books on history, the years leading up to the flood in particular. I suspect they wish to know more about the warriors of light as well they should, but nearly everything I've come across describes them as sin eaters or worse. Regardless of whether or not this warrior of light is who they claim to be, I worry that their sudden appearance in conjunction with this renewed interest in their predecessors may lead to growing unrest and fear. If the people of the Crystarium seek the truth, I say we give it to them. I too can assess to the falsehood found within full many of the cabinet's tomes with nary a mention of the noble deeds of Arbert and his comrades. To be fair, they bear some responsibility for the flood. But when the tale is told again and again over the course of a century, I am not surprised to see their rose destroyed Distorted and then painted as villains. Were it not for the record stored within the Crystal Tower, I would have not. I would have no reason to question the narrative. Unfortunately, the knowledge was of no use. For when I arrived here in the first, their reputation had already been irreparably tarnished. With that said, there still remains those who worked tirelessly to defend their good name in those early days following the flood. 
considering all the good they had done i find it a wonder they need defending at all they brought to justice the man who misused my knowledge to bring about the fall of Volbert, that such heroes could be spoken of in the same breath as Sin Eaters is absurd. Under normal circumstances, I would agree. But as time passes, those who have, who know, who knew firsthand of their deeds dwindled. In the end, only one truth remained that they were the causes of flood. With the world on the brink of oblivion, it was all too easy for the warriors of light to become villains, deserving only of resentment and hate. At that point, the truth mattered little. It would not change their lot. Thanks to all of you, however, their lot has changed, and now... They may heed the long forgotten truth. You claimed it was Arbert who helped you overcome Emmett Selk, right? Such a revelation would do well to sway the hearts of those who knew him only as a villain. I have shared this with a select few, but one and all must be told of his sacrifice to that end i say we proceed with alphano's plan we call together the people of the crystarium and recount to them the true tale of the warriors of light and the flood that followed it in their wake if y'all haven't done the roll quest from 5.0 that's where most of that story comes from. And you know, if you, if you're lazy <laughs> and you want to see like the story of the other role quests that you haven't done, I might have a card like up in the corner with the playlist and you can watch whichever ones you haven't done. There you go. Helpful hit right there. I didn't read that, I think. Well, what say you, Kuzu? In hindsight, I agree. But better late than never, no? Thanks, sir. Might I ask you to continue working with Becklaga on our means of returning home? The rest of us will see to gathering the people of the Crystarium in the Exedra. Shit, man. All right, we have to reach out to anyone and everyone who might be willing to lend an ear. With any luck, word will spread and more will accompany them. All right, let's go. Anyway, this is part one. Hopefully y'all won't Go, go watch part two. That'll probably be in the card somewhere up there too. Just keep in mind. Yeah. Part two will be, you know, as I said, uploaded shortly after this. Pokemon will be uploaded before this, but since I'm not uploading anything else with Pokemon today, like the final episode of the Isle of Armor, because I haven't recorded it yet. Here you go. You get this to go along with it. And episode two. Like I said, 
will be recorded along with it anyway look out for the cards wherever in the end card of course there will also be a list there will also be a spot for the playlist for the roll quest if you haven't seen the story for those and of course the next episode will be there as well keep that in mind and before we forget if you want to support your boy kuzu merch store link in the description below second channel link in the description below and of course link for the promo for streamlabs in the description below keep that in mind anyway, this has been your boy no 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 i forgot i forgot of course as always if you're new to the channel hit that like button hit that subscribe button and of course leave a comment down below if you're already part of the reason fam hit that like button leave a comment down below and let me know what you'd like to see next because you know i care about what you have to say and that being that this has been your boy kuzu i will see y'all in the next episode peace